Well, good morning. Back to the Jet Fisher Channel again. Um, bait collecting as usual. First up, I'm going to get some live bait. Um, I probably will throw uh, some jigs around today uh, as well, and I go wider. Um, the weather's not fantastic. Um, the water temperature is all right. 22.3 is getting back to summer, so it won't be long before we see the pelagics coming through. But this sort of temperature, we're pretty close. So I'm just going to move up to my bait spot now and um, keep the camera rolling and you might see what I'm doing. I'm using our, um, my Sabiki rod as usual, which is a two-piece fault in... Sorry, I'm keeping my eye on the uh, sounder while I'm talking here. Um, but I've got a two-piece Sabiki which I can fold up and put in my, you know, one of my tubbies and um, it's very, very effective for bait. I can leave it rigged pull it out whenever, pull the uh, rod out whenever I need it and uh, you know be ready to catch some more bait. So people said oh don't you ever use lures or jigs and yeah you know I do I just think you know I've been trying to target some of the bigger species so the live bait seems to be you know way more effective and you know I've got a live bait tank on this side so why not use it but um, as much as I'd like to uh, be good at uh, soft soft plastics, soft, you know, soft baiting or um, jigging. I, I haven't done a lot of it yet, so I've yet to learn the finer, learn the finer details. There we go. This looks like a little bit of bait here. I'll just give this a go. Let's see. Yeah, pretty well straight on. I think it's I think it's um, yak is the way they're jumping around. Hopefully, yep. Oh, that's not a bad start. Oops, I haven't got my tool out yet. Where is it? There it is. Good size too. One thing I have to be careful of is when I first start, I've got a a full. Um, I've got my uh, footwells are full of water and the fish swim out the back. <laughs> like that one. Nice big yakas. While I'm here, I'll just drop it over again while I'm trying to catch this one. Yep, straight on. Jeez, there's a lot of bait around. Oh, jeez. I think I've yeah, I lost him. There we go. Back on. Oh, I think I've got a few. So the Sabiki rigs I'm using too are um whoa jeez. One got away. Um they're a um quite a tough one. Um I found some of the the uh, sabiki lures that people are selling in the shops are very light on the line and they break really easily in my sabiki rod because I do do put a bit of pressure on it when I'm winding it through and uh, so I've, I've, I was put onto this nice strong brand called Sigwa. Hang on, I can't catch that. I might get my little net. It might be easier. That's a bit easier. <laughs> Except I've got a lot of obstacles. There we go. That was better. <laughs> and I might just get a few more. I don't need too many because where I'm going, I can also catch some more. Yeah, sometimes you can get a full string and look straight on. Oh, gee. <laughs> it's good when it's like this. Sometimes you have big troubles. But uh, the other thing I like about. Um, the sabiki lures I'm using, uh, whoa, dropped off again, another one's dropped in. Um, they've got little little glow beads on them, so when the light's low, I think they seem to be more effective than the... So I'd recommend getting the ones with little green glow beads. I'm not sure if you can see that. The little um, size 8 is what I use. One nearly got away. And... Uh, Gotta get that net. So 
So sometimes too, what you do is when you're dropping it down, just feather it a little bit so that it sort of jiggles a bit on the way down. And it attracts attention because it looks a little bit like the little, little bait fish. Oops, I think I've run off the mark now, so I might go back. Yeah, what happens is normally, you know, you, you get a bite straight away. You get the bites and the, you catch the fish straight away. And if you're not catching them straight away, bring it up again and move on. Make sure you've got a heavy enough sinker on the bottom of your sabiki lures too. Um, if it's too light, the fish will swim up and tangle your rig. It creates a big mess and, you know, your day could be over pretty quickly. Um, so, like about a four ounce lead sinker, snapper sinker on the bottom will do the job. Yeah, so on the way down, just sort of feather it a little bit and sort of break it. I'm just using my overhead um, little, uh, what do you call it, little bait caster, $50 bait caster here. There we go, well, straight on. And then if you sort of, I think I've only got one this time, but if you uh, leave it down there for a few more seconds, as long as you've got weight on it, you'll... Um, You'll catch, you know, full string sometimes. So, as I said, size nine hooks, you know, that's not the... Uh, some of the uh, Japanese and Chinese um, sabiki lures have different size hooks. Even though they're named the same, they could be different sizes. The problem, problem with, well, the, the benefits of the sabiki rod are obvious, but it also has a problem where you can't use a bigger hook like a 10, um, that sort of size, but won't fit down the tube, so... Yeah, you know, I'm using eight or nines normally. And, you know, the, the difference is you'll probably lose a few bigger uh, bait fish when you when you try to catch them because the hooks are a little bit smaller. But, um, I'm, you know, I have enough success that I don't really, it doesn't bother me that much. You know, if you're, if you're fishing with a rod, with a um, speaky, uh, just with a rod and a sinker, you could probably go, you know, 10 easily on those and catch a few more. Here we go, here's a big patch. Uh, it's a bit hard to explain that the patch just comes up as a yellow as a yellow bunch of um, marks on the sounder right on the bottom normally but sometimes they come up in a big sort of cloud you'll see a oh I didn't catch any that's what happened then they come up like a cloud of um, a yellow cloud and they, sometimes if there's a lot of them you'll actually get like a red a red sort of section in the middle where it's very dense here we go. This is interesting. I wonder if that's something other than bait fish. It's almost snapperish, that one. Yep. Straight on though. No, I think it's just bait again. There we go. Oh, I've got a full string again or something else. It might be something else. Yeah, it's a little jeez. A little tiny. There you go. So that's bait fishing 101. Um, this little tool I got, as you can see, it's great. It's a little hook. It just hooks the line. I don't have to touch the fish, and um, it generally gets them off without breaking the hook. Occasionally, you'll get a you get a bite off if you catch pike. These are yellow tail scads, and um, they're pretty cool. One of them was it. One of them is some sort of butterfish so you know it's like just fold this up the problem with the as I said with the light line they'll snap where I fold it so this is a really good one it's about a 40 pound uh, sabiki so when I fold it up it doesn't snap this is, this is a uh, yellow tail and I'm just got to get him through the nose today I'm not going to bridle or anything I've got a circle hook it's about a 7-0 up through both. Well, he's very live. He's very happy. <laughs> Not. Oh yes! 